So, here we are again. Another day. Another bold claim from the corners of the internet that science is lying and NASA is just a CGI studio. Yep, we're talking about the ever-entertaining, ever-headache-inducing theory that the Earth is flat, not oval, not pear-shaped. Definitely not a giant sphere spinning in space at 1,000 miles per hour. Nope, flat, like a pancake or a pizza or their understanding of physics. Today, we're diving into the top five proofs flat earthers love to shout about. And we're going to graciously, sarcastically, thoroughly explain why each of these proofs is about as solid as a marshmallow trampoline. First, if the Earth were round, we'd see the curve. Oh, this one's a classic. Flat earthers love pulling out pictures of the horizon and saying, Look, it's flat. There's no curve. Checkmate. Globe heads. Right. Because your iPhone camera from the beach definitely has the power of a $10 million satellite. Let's break it down. The Earth is roughly 25,000 miles around. That's pretty big. The curvature is only about 8 inches per mile. So when you're standing at sea level, your eyes can only see about 3 miles out before the curve starts hiding things. If you want to actually see the curve, Get higher. Airplane? Yep. Some pilots have seen the curve with their naked eyes. Weather balloons? The footage is out there. Better yet. Hop on a SpaceX ride and tell us all about it. Flat Earthers also love to forget that ships disappearing hull first over the horizon is a thing. It's not a magic trick. It's physics. Conclusion. You don't see the curve, not because it's not there but because the Earth is massive and you are not. Two, water always finds its level. This is their go-to catchphrase. Say it loud enough and it starts sounding like science. They argue that since water settles flat in a cup, lake, or pool, that means the Earth can't be curved. Well, guess what? The surface of large bodies of water does conform to the Earth's curvature. It's not flat. It follows gravity. And what is level anyway? Level means perpendicular to gravity, not flat in the Minecraft sense. Here's the fun part. If the Earth were flat, gravity would pull straight down to the center. That would cause water to pile up in the middle of oceans and spill off the edges. So either gravity is lying, or your understanding of it is. Hint. It's the second one. Also, gravity's not a myth. You're not floating right now, are you? Three. Planes don't dip their noses. Flat earthers say pilots don't constantly angle the plane's nose downward to match the Earth's curve. So the Earth must be flat. Cool. Let's unpack that. A plane traveling around the Earth is like a tiny ant crawling on a giant beach ball. The ant doesn't feel like it's going downhill, right? Planes don't need to dip their noses, because gravity and aerodynamics naturally keep the plane aligned with the Earth's surface. Modern airplanes autocorrect their pitch constantly. If they didn't, you'd either nosedive or end up in space drinking zero-G coffee. Pilots literally train for this. But sure, random guy on YouTube cracked aviation in his mom's basement. Got it. Four. NASA is faking everything with CGI. And here it comes. All space missions are fake. The moon landing was filmed on a Hollywood set. That picture of Earth? Photoshop. Sure, NASA, with its budget being 0.5% of the U.S. federal budget, has secretly fooled every scientist on Earth for over 50 years. Meanwhile, private companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and countries like Japan, India, and the UAE are all apparently in on it, too. Because, um... Kaide! Pabao spasei fra... Also, about those Earth photos. Yes, some are composites, because satellites take photos in sections. It's like saying Google Maps is fake because you see tiles loading one by one. And for those who say astronauts are hanging on wires, 
brother. We have astronauts live streaming from space. One sneezed on camera once. Explain that with wires. Five. Antarctica is a giant ice wall. Yes. According to Flat Earth lore, Antarctica isn't a continent. It's a giant ice wall surrounding the entire flat disk world. Like something out of Game of Thrones, except with fewer dragons and more bad science. They claim no one can explore it because it's forbidden. Fact check. You can visit Antarctica. There are research stations, cruises, even marathons. Seriously, people run marathons there, willingly. And no, there's no ice wall hiding the edge of the world. There's just ice and penguins and scientists who are very confused by these conspiracy theories. Bonus round. Why do people believe this stuff? It's easy to mock, but let's be real for a second. Conspiracy theories thrive in places where trust in institutions is low and misinformation spreads faster than common sense. Some folks just want to feel like they know something the sheeple don't. But science isn't out to trick you. It's not a club you get into by memorizing secret passwords. It's a method. It's curiosity. It's looking at evidence even when it's inconvenient. And let's be honest. The real world, with planets, black holes, wormholes, and billions of galaxies, is way cooler than a cosmic dinner plate. Final thoughts. So, is the Earth flat? Nope. We've known it was round since the ancient Greeks. They noticed ships disappearing over the horizon and different stars being visible from different places. We've sent satellites, probes, astronauts, and selfies into space. They all say the same thing. The Earth is round. Get over it. But hey, if you still want to believe we're living on a flat disk, surrounded by an ice wall and watched by lizard people, at least admit it makes a good Netflix pitch. If this made you laugh, think, or both, hit that like button. And subscribe for more myth-busting, science-loving, eye-rolling adventures. Until next time, stay curious, not conspiratorial. And remember, gravity isn't fake, but your cousin Todd's Facebook science posts might be.